Hello friends! Today I want to tell you how to feed your dog. Not with what, but precisely how. So, let's go! From the very beginning, when a puppy or an adult dog appears at your home, we start feeding the dog only from our hands. We throw away the bowl with food completely, leaving only the bowl with water. And for at least one month, we feed a puppy or an adult dog only from our hands. It can be at home, it can be on a walk. It can be during training. It can be for socialization. It can be to incite good behavior. It can be to distract or to switch the dog to something useful. Quite a long time, we only feed the dog only from our hands. With this method of feeding, it is advisable to always have a bag with food with you. So, that if the dog shows you some good behavior, you can immediately reward it at that moment. The puppy should be fed often and little, 4 to 5 times a day. An adult dog can be fed twice or once a day in larger quantities. In fact, the only thing that matters is how many nutrients and how many calories your dog gets during the day. After you simply learn to feed from your hands, taught your dog to take food gently, not to bite it together with the meat, you start working. A piece runs away from the dog. The dog learns to catch up with it. You learn to manipulate the dog, twist it, spin it, take different body positions, and all this while feeding. The more often you organize training with the dog, the later you will return to the ball. The ball, of course, will eventually appear. You don't have to hand feed your dog all its life, but it is very, very important. But it happens that you train constantly, almost every day, and your dog eats the entire daily allowance during training. Gradually, there will be less training, and you can return to the ball. The ball can stand on the floor, or you can use stands. Conras specially developed a line of stands for you in three sizes – small, medium, and large. We are sure that pulling up the ball when the dog has to reach to eat its food every day is not very humane, it is not rational, and it's not correct. People who raise the ball so high argue that the dog improves and consolidates its posture. But a dog eats food for a few minutes and it spends its whole life sniffing the ground. If you don't train with your dog, in these two minutes that it will stretch during the day, it is unlikely that you will be able to correct its posture. If you want your dog to stretch, we advise you to engage in dog fitness. Do special exercises for this, or simply feed the dog during the beside command. This can be done much longer, 
you can control this process and in this case the dog's head is raised upwards and in this way the dog does not bend its neck and it's much more convenient for it to eat. Therefore, there is no point in raising the ball so high up. The ball can be slightly raised above the floor so that it's easy for the dog to eat and the ball does not slide. The main rule is that the bowl from which we feed must always be empty. If your dog leaves without finishing it, you immediately take away the food and give it a little less the next time. If you put a bowl, the dog approached, sniffed and refused to eat, immediately take the bowl away. In general, a good appetite is a good indicator of your dog's health. If your dog is not eating well, it can be for two reasons. Either it is sick and you need to go to the vet, or you are simply feeding it more than it needs. Sometimes hand and ball feeding can be combined. During the walk, you feed part of the food to your dog, but if you didn't have time to give it everything, you put the last part into a bowl at home. Feed your dog before or after walk. Many people argue that after feeding a dog, it immediately goes to the toilet, so they do this. First they feed the dog, then they go for a walk with them. This is not true at all, and it should never be done this way, because there is a certain danger. In large breeds of dogs, there is a possibility that their stomach, when it is full, can turn over when the dog does some kind of physical activity, running, jumping, etc. Therefore, it is very dangerous. We always feed the dog during the walk from our bag, where we have food for the day, or after the walk. The dog must first eat and then go to rest. It should never be done like this when the dog has eaten and then went to play. Who should eat first, the owner or the dog? There is a myth existing that you, as the alpha, must eat your food first before the dog. But this is a complete delusion. It is an ordinary fake. There is nothing similar to the truth here. And in general, the schedule of the dog's life and the schedule of a person's life may differ because a person can eat three times a day and a dog can eat twice a day and the feeding times may not coincide. So these processes do not need to be connected with each other at all. You eat when it's comfortable for you and the dog eats when it's comfortable for it. And there is no need to draw so much attention to this matter. By the way, if it happens that you are eating at the same time, it is much easier for me to feed the dog first so that it does not look at me with hungry eyes and does not drool on my pen while I'm sitting at the table and eating. That's why I always feed the dogs first and then I sit down to eat myself. Fasting days Ask any nutritionist, human or animal. Fasting days are very good for them, as long as you don't have any health problems. If there are no problems with the stomach or the digestive system, taking fasting days is very, very useful. Much more useful than when the food is constantly lying in a bowl. That is, sometimes you can spend a day only on water. The amount of food directly depends on the activity of your dog. If a certain dosage is written on the food bag, but a dog actively runs around the forest from morning to evening, you can give it a little more. And otherwise, if a certain dosage is written and your dog sleeps on the sofa all day, you can give a little less. Make sure that your dog is fit, athletic and carved with strong muscles. It will benefit it. That's all for now. Feed your dog right and it will greatly affect its obedience, its health and your relationship. This is very important because it happens every day, so feed your dog properly. <laughs>